ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் இன் மை டுடேஸ் வீடியோ ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டெல் தி ஸ்டோ மேரேஜ் ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் கிருஷ்ணா அண்ட் ருக்மிணி பிஃபோர் ஸ்டார்டிங் மை டுடேஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வுட் லைக் டு கிவ் அண்ட் ஜென்ரல் ரிமைண்டர் இஃப் யூ வாட்சிங் மை சேனல் வித்வுட் சப்ஸ்கிரைபிங் ப்ளீஸ் டோன்ட் ஃபர் கெட் டு சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு மை சேனல் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ இஃப் யூ லைக் மை வீடியோஸ் டு லைக் ஷேர் அண்ட் கமெண்ட் தேங்க் யூ Once upon a time in the land of Vidarbha King Bhishma was the person who was ruling the land of Vidarbha King Bhishma had five sons and a daughter The daughter was named as Rukmini Princess Rukmini was very beautiful and prettiest among his children Many kings and the princes from the neighboring countries used to visit the land of Vidarbha with a marriage proposal to princess rukmini but they all written with a broken heart of the rejection during those days krishna had earned a greatest fame as an young man with the good looks and the good qualities princess rukmini has been hearing the stories of krishna throughout her teenage days and had a very special place for krishna in her heart when princess rukmini grew up and reached to the age of marriageable young woman she decided that krishna was the one the perfect match for her and she has also accepted krishna has her husband in her heart Rukmini's father and mother also preferred Krishna to be the perfect man for Princess Rukmini. But Prince Rukmi, the elder brother of Princess Rukmini, was not at all happy with the marriage proposal of Krishna and Rukmini because he was the close friend with king shishupal and king charasanda who considered krishna as their biggest enemy on this world because several times krishna had defeated king shishupal and king charasanda because of which they were very much angry with krishna when prince rukmi learned that his sister princess rukmini loved krishna he was very much angry and upset he immediately declared in the royal court of vidarbha that princess rukmini would be married to king shishupala and also on the other hand Prince Rukmi threatened his father that if he opposes the marriage proposal of Princess Rukmini and King Shishupala he would be dethroned Although King Bhishma was not at all concerned with the throne or was not afraid of losing the throne he was concerned with the welfare of his people in the land of Vidarbha because he knew that king rukmi was arrogant and ruthless as his friends king shishupala and king charasanda so he accepted the declaration made by rukmi for the time being meanwhile king rukmi got an royal priest and asked him to set the earliest date for the marriage then he sent this message to king shishupala and asked him to come with the marriage party of his friendly royals on the date and take away the rukmini as his formerly wedded queen princess rukmini was very much upset and got sick due to the ruthless games played by her brother against her wish also Princess Rukmini set up her mind to marry one and only that is Krishna and it was her chance to make an decision 
So she decided to send a confidential letter to Krishna in Dwaraka and set a confident messenger. In that letter, she revealed how she wanted to become his queen, but her brother was forcing her to marry his detractor Shishupala, whom she detested. Also, Princess Rukmini in the letter pleaded to Krishna to save her honor by taking her away through abduction. Otherwise, she would take away her life. The confident messenger traveled around for several days to reach Dwarka. In reply to the message of Princess Rukmini, Krishna assured that he would save her from her evil brothers and his conspiring friends also mentioned that if there is needed to fight and do battle against them, he is also ready to fight. So, Krishna set up his mind and got his chariot ready for the journey and set out on the mission to rescue Rukmini. Soon after his departure, his elder brother Balarama learned about Krishna going to land of Vidarbha. And also, he sensed the trouble and rushed with a huge army of Yadava behind the chariot of Krishna. On the other hand, in the Vidarbha, King Shishupala has set a huge army also, knowing that Krishna would come there to rescue Rukmini. On the day of the marriage ceremony, Princess Rukmini visited the temple of Goddess Gauri along with her friends and mates. And also she mentioned in the letter sent to Krishna that he could protect her from that temple. Since the temple was situated outside the town, King Shishupala was very much aware that Krishna would visit to rescue Rukmini. So he set a large army against the temple to fight with Krishna. But after completing the worship and all the pujas, when Princess Rukmini came out of the temple, she saw Krishna. Since the message about her outing had been already relayed to Krishna in her letter and signals of his arrival. He was there at the backside of the temple with his chariot. After the worship, when Princess Rukmini emerged out of the temple, Krishna showed up. Rukmini allowed herself so that Krishna would lift her and put her on the chariot. Soon after, Krishna drew away the chariot. When Princess Rukmini's mates and friends looked in horror and fright. But the close friends of Rukmini knew the plot beforehand and put an act of frightened. The news of abduction of Rukmini charged up King Shishupala and his friends. They rushed out to catch up with the fleeing Krishna. Rukmi, his brothers and their soldiers also joined the chase. Seeing the enemy army attacking on the Yadava army, Balarama ordered Yadava army to turn around and counter attack on the enemy forces. Since the Enemy army of King Jarasandha and King Shishipala was not prepared beforehand to fight against the army of Yadava. They faced the heavy losses and ordered their soldiers to stop the battle and soon went on the back foot. But Prince Rukmi did not like it. He cursed and went after Balarama and Krishna alone in the revengeful mood. He managed to dodge Balarama and catch up with Krishna's chariot. But Krishna did not want to fight with Prince Rukmi. 
because of the ruthless act of prince rukmi krishna immediately took his bow and arrow with no time and cut down the rukmi's chariot rukmi got injured krishna jumped down from his chariot and got hold of rukmi after tying hands and feet of rukmi with his krishna cut patches of his hair mustache and beard with his sword to disfigure rukmi's shape as a lesson balarama had intervened and asked krishna not to kill the rogue as he was now their relative rukmi had taken the vow that he would not return to the capital if he failed to free his sister from krishna so he went to an unknown land lived there for a long time on the other hand krishna and balarama returned to dwarka with rukmini later krishna dali married rukmini with the proper custom and traditional rituals so friends this was today's small story about the marriage of krishna and rukmini if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for all notification of my channel and also like share and comment on the video Thanks for watching friends Hare Krishna